That's right, videos by bikers for bikers. Ryan Erlocker here with lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. Got another free tutorial video for you guys uh, today. Just gonna simply show you how to put regular old uh, grips, uh, Harley Davidson grips or any aftermarket grip onto a Harley Davidson motorcycle. We did it on a Road King, not the one behind me, but another Road King, very, very similar. Um, so enjoy the video. If you wanna put heated grips on your bike, which we strongly suggest, um, one of the best things I ever did. We have a very popular video on that for you guys. Everything you need to know on how to install heated grips on your Harley Davidson motorcycle yourself right in your very own shop or garage right on the kickstand. If you want to get that video, head over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Harley heated grips. All right, enjoy the video. All right, and the first thing is uh, we got to get the control cluster off the left handlebar here. And you'll see that there's two bolts there. And he's just going to remove those with a Torx wrench, and it's a T27 for these. And it basically just removes that C-clamp from the front that goes halfway around the bar there. And, uh, of course, there's two other bolts we're going to have to deal with here in a minute, but that's what he's working on right now. All right, and he's got those two bolts out. He's going to back that C-clamp off. He's got his hand under it so it doesn't drop and just kind of collect everything there. And now he's just removing the Torx bolt. It's a T25 from the bottom there. And there's one more bolt on top. It is a T25 that he's backing out now. Now that all, all four bolts are removed, uh, he's got that whole control cluster loose. Make sure you use both hands and kind of uh, be careful. You don't want to drop this whole uh, assembly onto your tank and dent it or anything. There's wires hooked up, of course, in there. Once he gets all that off, he can just let everything dangle um, by the clutch there. And you can see everything came off, you know, the mirror there. We just left it attached. You could unbolt the mirror first if you didn't. It's kind of awkward sometimes, but not a big deal. We left it on and we'll just let everything dangle there off the clutch. All right, and you'll likely find that your left grip on your Harley is glued on from the factory. And this one's broke free over time, so we're able to twist it off. Uh, if that's not the case, you usually just have to grab a razor blade and cut them off. All right, and he's got his new Willie G Harley Davidson skull grips there and they just slide right on. Now there is a different side, you know, a right and a left, your throttle side, and then your left side. You can see the ridge up there. They're a little bit different on the left side, and those basically catch. There's channels inside that housing, and that's what locks that grip down from turning, and they have to be a certain way on the handlebars, and so obviously you want the skull up there like that, and then those ridges, that housing will go over it, and like I say, it locks in place. So you do not need to glue your left grip on your aftermarket grip. Please don't glue it. Just know that if you have it right, that housing will lock it from turning. Okay, and now um, he's just, you know, like I say, pinching that housing over that grip. Make sure you push everything up so that grip's on as far as it can be up there. And, you know, an extra set of hands can sometimes be helpful for this, but you can do it by yourself. And he's just making sure everything's seated good, that the clamp, you know, or the, the control cluster is pinching up real nice there and going back together and that grip is locked down and then of course he had his mirror and his clutch and the back side of that c-clamp dangling he's going to bring that up basically just getting everything kind of lined up and mocked up so to speak a little bit um, once he gets everything in there then we can bring that front c-clamp around and kind of start getting everything tightened down okay and he's bringing the front of that c-clamp in and he's got his bolts already kind of in there and basically at this point, just kind of start finger tightening everything. You really don't want to crank everything down then uh, right yet because we want a little bit of play um, and it, it makes it easier to get the other two, the top and the bottom bolt in and make sure, you know, we'll finalize everything and make sure it's adjusted and pinched down right. And uh, at the very end, we can crank everything down. And just going up from underneath, getting that bottom bolt in. And again, just getting everything finger tight right now. And he's got everything finger tight, of course. He's got his T27 Torx wrench on the C-clamp there. Of course, he's got the top and bottom in too. But now he's just going around. He's been real diligent about making sure everything was lined up. And now he's just going to crank everything down. Do not over-tighten these guys. That's a mistake you can make. They don't have to hold that much, okay? They're just a control cluster. So get them tight and maybe another half turn and you're golden. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you want to make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level 
um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabitingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever want to just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it. Lawabitingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. Ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, and he's moving over to the right side. It comes off the same exact way. It's just your brake side, but there is something you need to be very aware of, and that is a brake light switch. All right, and a little tip and trick. Don't break the switch, guys. A lot of guys will break this if they don't know what they're doing. We have an easy solution for that. That's a little brake light switch, and so that's your brake side, the right side, and basically, you know, your brake lever is out all the time, and so there's pressure on that switch. Well, when you push in on your brake, that switch is able to uh, take the pressure off of, it, off of it. Well, that's what activates your brake light. Well, you want to make sure and put a little piece of cardboard in here and shim that brake lever. And basically what that does is takes the pressure off that switch. Because if you don't do that, when you're putting this back together especially, um, and that brake is in, if it was like that there, well, then you're going to shear. You're going to try to force that on there, and you're going to shear that little switch off. So by putting that piece of cardboard in there, it shims it out, keeps the pressure off it, and you will thank yourself because you will not be uh, buying and replacing that brake light switch. It's very delicate. So just a simple piece of cardboard and shim it, you'll be good to go. And just like the left side, he removed all the bolts there, and he's got the brake line. Of course, we've got it shim there, but he's just going to let the brake lever dangle there by the line, just like we did with the clutch side. And now we can start pulling these housings apart. And, of course, the right isn't glued because it's your throttle, and just back it right off. All right, and that's uh, what you see there is the throttle by wire, electronic throttle, and you can see it's got little spines on the end or gears. And, of course, inside that grip, and you'll see actually when you twist it there, that's how your throttle works there. So um, inside that throttle, of course, are spines in there, and make sure your wheelie g scroll is up and all that, and then you'll feel those gears. You kind of have to twist it around a little bit. Those gears will line up in there, and then you can see the top of that grip is a little bit different. Um, where it goes inside the housing and he's just testing everything there and it's you can feel the tension on the spring and all that and then the top is a little bit different there because it allows it unlike the left side it allows it to actually turn freely inside that housing but you want to make sure the housing is over it and over the ridge there that keeps it from falling off of course that's what secures it on the handlebars make sure everything's pushed up real nice and then he will get all four bolts and uh, kind of secure everything down all right and we strongly suggest just doing heated grips uh, totally worth the investment because we can save you a ton of money if you just uh, check out our install video on heated grips, lawabitingbiker.com slash Harley heated grips. Tons of bikers all over the world are putting heated grips on their motorcycles successfully. We show you everything step by step, of course, um, and we teach you a lot more about that throttle by wire because we actually have to remove it, kind of give you the insights on uh, what's going on inside there. But definitely check that video out. Well worth it to have those awesome heated grips on your bike. All right, and just as we showed you on the left side, he's doing on the right side now. He's getting all his bolts in, the two on the front there, the top and the bottom, and just finger tight for now. After he gets everything lined up just perfect and how he wants it, he'll come back with a wrench and crank it down. And he's just finishing tightening and down that last T27 head bolt there. And look at there, brand spanking new Willie G aftermarket grips there for his Hardy-Davidson motorcycle. And... uh we, of course, strongly suggest if you're going to do it, just take the time and get our heated grips video, lawbitingbiker.com slash heated grips. They are totally worth it. We'll show you how to do it. Mm -hmm.